live. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm Sammy. Um, and yeah, it's Monday or Sunday night, depending on where in the world you are. Um, hopefully you can all hear me. Um, Monday. I've been so excited for today, people. You have no idea. But before I get into all that, I need to say hello to everybody because, because of you all, you know, I, this is, this is why I get to do what I do. So, um, and I'm always beside myself that people want to hang out with me today. So, um, let's see who's on. Karen, Katie, Ruth, Brenda, Pearl, Tracy, Susan, Lisa, Caroline, Anna. Um, wow. There's a lot of people. Kim, Katie, Nicole, Marcy. Karen, Connie, Charmaine, Nancy, hi, um, hello, <laughs> Woo. all right, so it is, where am I, the 7th of, yeah, that's right, the 7th of, 7th of September, um, wow, it's, uh, oh, hi, Dawn, hey, um, Ash, and Sammy and Anna and Avril and Veronica. <gasps> Veronica, that's what the V stands for. I'm guessing you're um, V Luna, who I keep sharing your stuff. So, hi! <laughs> I'm slowly putting names to, um, and to Instagram handles and things like that. So I do apologize <laughs> for when I get it wrong. Um, I am very much an imperfect person. Um, so today, so first, okay, first of all, weekly update. Um, okay, let's get, let's get the, the, the yucky bits out of the way so that we can move on to the fun stuff. So shipping, I mentioned last week about, uh, shipping and tracking numbers and, and updates that aren't showing, tracking isn't showing. It's still an issue. We don't have an update on it. Um, it's only for our USA friends. So we have a feeling it's got to do with the postal system over there. Um, there's not much we can do. We do know it's an issue, uh, but unfortunately it is what it is at this point in time. Hopefully we can, hopefully things sort out soon and we can go back to how we used to go with updating tracking straight away as soon as we fulfill it and things like that. So um, our apologies, uh, we are in talks with uh, DHL, to see if we can find out a way around it. Unfortunately, we don't have an update just yet. Um, so it's it's sort of a, it's an update, but there's no real update behind it. I'm so sorry. Uh, we are, we, we do do our best to advocate for you all because we know what it's like when, you know, you've, you, you're so excited about a product and we love that you get so excited. Um, so, you know, and then you've just got to sit there and you wait. So uh, we get it. Um, and as per usual, Tracking worldwide is a bit slow, although Woodland Wonders it. <laughs> Woodland Wonders seems to be getting out there quite quickly, which was really exciting. I I have my fingers crossed that the same thing is going to happen for Sunday Roast, because uh, that would just be amazing. Um, hopefully, if you can't tell, I've had my coffee. I'm awake. <laughs> Usually I'm sitting here on a Monday going, oh, it's Monday. It's the Mondayest Monday ever. But today I'm feeling pretty good. I think it's because I'm excited because I've been working on something to show you all. But again, we'll get to that in a second. Um, so that's the shipping update. Michael has been frantically working away at customer service um, at all hours. So I know that because he does triathlon train, he has been getting up in the morning and doing some of that before and after his training. Um, so yeah, hopefully he's getting back to everybody. <laughs> um, but we are doing our best. I, we worked extra last week to try and get on top of a lot of mess, um, messages because the week, week before, Lachlan was homesick, um, which really just sort of it took away it took it basically a whole week's worth of work we couldn't get done because we were trying to help him and 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 get him settled and and keep him you know chilled out at home um and then we had to go to a whole bunch of extra appointments so that he could get clearance to go back to school now for, oh also i forgot to apologize i was a bit late i did have a courier at the door it's one of those days michael's out at the pool 
So I'm probably going to get every courier in existence to knock on my door while I'm live. Um, <laughs> so I do apologize for that. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we don't get too, too many interruptions or hopefully they're on while I've got to show you the video. Now, let's have a quick chat about our next, our, our kit that we're currently selling, which is Sunday Roast. So Sunday Roast is um, on track to ship between the 15th and 18th of this month, which is September. And that's not for you all, that's for me, because I still cannot, it's like, this year goes so quick, but so slow. What is with the time warp that is this year? Um, so Sunday Roast is on track. I was hoping this morning that it was the washi delivery. It was not, but I looked this morning. It has cleared customs. So it should be here in the next few days and I can share that. I have started sharing all the previews for that. Although if you're a liver, if you like, if you if you watch me on these live, you've pretty much seen everything except for the washi tape. So that's a little thank you for coming in and joining me on Mondays. You get to see everything first. So and um, so that is that. <laughs> uh, I am working on the downloads, the printables, all that sort of subscriber exclusives for that kit now. Um, that's my week this week. So I've got that as well as a couple of other bits and pieces that I'm working on in the background. Um, by the way, I, I can see all your messages pop up for those who don't know. I do it. I try not to answer them while I'm, I'm, I'm doing my updates because I get completely sidetracked. Um, but I do have a section at the end um, and I do a Q&A and I'll go through all your messages. So if I've missed your message, don't worry. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, Tracy, you're homeschooling. Yeah, I don't envy that. I'm sorry. And I've just gone back into the chat. See, this is why I don't check the chat. But if you, Tracy, I hated homeschooling. And I know it's not homeschooling in the traditional sense, but the schooling from home just, it was chaotic for us because we, we, we just fell so behind. <laughs> sorry, just me. I'm laughing because Jill Dunlop says that her daughter calls it time soup. 2020, the time soup. Yes, that's true. Okay, let me let me refocus. Um, so Sunday roast, everything pretty much has arrived except for the washi. It's on time to ship at the moment um, between the 15th and the 18th, which is fantastic because we've got the next kit coming out. And I didn't share this last week to be honest i was feeling a bit exhausted last week so i wanted to save the preview for this week when i was feeling a little bit more um awake <laughs> a little bit more peppy um it's it, there's been a lot a lot going on behind the scenes here so um and not only that um there's been um wild university which went live this week i've been filming some stuff for that which i'll talk about a little bit later um because uh, i'm so excited to be part of it um but yeah i'll talk about wild you a little bit later but let me have a chat quickly about the next kit so if you were to subscribe today you would get sunday roast which by the way is such a great kit i feel like maybe it's uh, i feel like it's so it's a little bit underappreciated at the moment. It needs a little bit of love because I've been I've been trying to do a juggle so many things. So the previews haven't been coming out as fast as what they should. But it's very much a. I mean, it's perfect for Thanksgiving. Uh, as you saw, I created a little recipe book the other day. Um, I'm going to be using it for like as we head down into the the sort of I, I call it the entertaining end of the year. We don't generally entertain, but we do have family yoga. We also. Um, I want to go, um, I want to go back on my diet again so I can start to lose some weight again. So I'm going to have that as the, I'm going to use that for the week that I start going back on my diet again. So there's so many uses for it. Not only that, it's, it's very much, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun in this kit. It's a really gorgeous kit. The colors are vibrant and, um, very, <laughs> very, um, uh, what's, what's the word? Vibrant saturated like it's it's like woodland wonders nobody expected that to be so um 
as vibrant as, as what it was. And when it hit, and I, I kept explaining to people, it's, it's so beautiful. And once you get it, you will understand. And I've loved reading all the messages of people saying, oh my gosh, this kit is just, it's, it's so vibrant. It's so pretty. It's, it's, you cannot understand it by just looking at the photos. And this is another one of those. And I feel like we're going to have a lot of that coming forward because we've changed a lot in the back end here about how we process our artwork, how we make sure that it's the best looking artwork that we can possibly put forward. Um, which is, is super, I mean, it's taken a lot of work in the background, but it's super exciting. Okay. So that's Sunday roast, but let me talk about the next kit. So the next kit coming up, I wanted to do for a long time. So long. Um, as you all know, I'm, I'm very much, I mean, I'm very much a crafter. I'm very much, ah, I'm very much, I love creating. I'm not a very good sewer, but I like to sew. I can't knit, I can crochet. I've been card making for, I think I had a thing pop up in my Facebook as a, as a memory the other day for like 10 years. Um, so that's, that's like my background is, is crafting and, 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 and card making. And that sort of led me into creative planning because I wanted something that was a little bit more permanent than a card that I would make and then send off. Um, so this next kit, I've combined my love of crafting with my love of a couple of certain flowers because I know you all love my floral kits. So I'm okay. Without any further ado, I'm going to show you the next kit theme. Um, and I hope you love it. Having another drink there. So the next theme is called so crafty. It's sunflowers. It's dahlias. It's in that beautiful peach tone the pink isn't so pink it's it's it well it does have some pink in there but it's like very much towards the peachy end and then we transition into these beautiful oranges and across the yellows it's very much about these gorgeous beautiful florals about crafting um and just this it's just it's a lot of fun this kit um i've been wanting to do this for so long and for those people who have our sunflower and Sunflowers and Sunshine, the Michaels box, the Sunflower and Sunshine's TN. This will work really well inside that. Um, it's it's an absolutely stunning kit. And the girl, I mean, I, I'm just going to put her back up because you can see she's got the embroidery across the front. So this really does go into a whole bunch of... Um, it's got some, some like cross stitch in there. It's got some sewing, some knitting. Um, a little bit card making and of course a whole bunch of planner stuff in there um, so it's a really it's going to be a really really gorgeous theme um, I hope I hope you all love it I am so excited for this and I really think that um, it, it has a really good balance if you're not in, into crafting there is so much beautiful florals in this kit that you're still gonna get a lot out of it um, and if you are into crafting, well, this kit, you were just going to love it. It's, it's just so, it's so pretty. So, <laughs> so if you subscribe today, you'll be getting Sunday roast. And then your second kit is so crafty. Um, so, and we do have a minimum of two kits. So that would be your, your, your two but I have to tell you, I can't tell you what the kit is afterwards, but I can guarantee you, I guarantee you, you are not going to want to stop at two kits. You will kick yourself if you stop at two kits. Um, I, yeah, so we, we did the girl with pink hair because I liked it. I mean, I haven't done it in a little while, but I love dyeing my hair pink. So we did that too. The bright yellow shirt, you guys know that I wear, oh, sorry, I shouldn't say guys, but you guys know that, oh, I did it again. Um, I love to wear my yellow shirts. Um, so this girl is, I mean, she's got the hair that I wish I had. <laughs> um, but it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous kit. And I cannot wait to sh start showing you previews, but that's not until after this kit, So Sunday Roast, ships. So if you want to make sure that you're definitely going to get one of the So Crafty kits, subscribe now and you'll get... Sunday roast and so crafty. All right. Next up. I'm so excited. 
Okay, next up we have... You're going to have so many questions for me. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do my best to answer them. And um, you know what? I'm just going to jump into this video. Hopefully it works properly. Um, and by the way, thank you everyone for joining because we've got a lot of people watching right now. Uh, so thank you for joining. Anyway, I'm going to jump you into our next big release. So this is our big announcement. Um, I've had a lot of people asking for this release and I'm so excited to bring it to you because I really feel like I've wanted to show this for so long and every time I've gone to show you all in my life because you know you all know that I get in trouble for these lives because I share stuff I'm not supposed to share and most of the time Michael isn't watching so I can get away with stuff but last, was it last week? The week before, he walked in on me as I was about to share and he's popped his head around. He's like, no. But anyway, today I have been given the go ahead to share with you. So I'm going to turn my mic off and hopefully I remember to turn it back on when I come back. And I hope you enjoy. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I hope you enjoy. Enjoy. week of learning how to process video I tell you what um, I really wanted to show off how amazing amazing this is um, it's it's an absolutely gorgeous planner and you're gonna have to tune in next week where I'm gonna show you a full-on full flip through all features all the extras everything like that I've already pre-recorded a whole bunch of that stuff um, I hope you all love it as much as I do. I've been using one for a little while now. I've been using one of my samples. And it is my favorite planner. The, the, the dark floral outside completely balances the pink. The little pops through it. It's just... I've been so excited. And, and this kit is very similar like in coloring to Planner Babe. So when I was doing it, I really wanted to make like the the light floral like the bag um, and then 
I was like, no, 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 I want to go something completely different. So I, I, you know, when I was looking through, I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to do, you know, utilize this, this dark floral because I think it's really going to pop. Um, and it's absolutely stunning. So tune in next week to see all the details, a full flip through. Um, there's a few things that you all may have caught during that. So one thing is there's, there's a, it's a slightly different height to our normal melodies, which means that if you're using a happy planner, if you're using, for example, coils from Lights Planner Action, they will slide in easier into that back pocket, whereas previously we've had to cut them down. So there's a few little tweaks. There's also a new pocket in there. Um, we, we, we shuffled around the pocket so that things would fit a little bit better. Um, this, this planner is, is just, there's been so many just minor modifications to just really make it pop. Like the bag is slightly bigger so that even when you've chunked out your planner, it, it, you can fit your planner in with a whole bunch of other bits and pieces as well. So, um, I really, I sat back and I, I, I looked at my planner and I thought, okay, so how can I make the melody better? And Michael walked past and went, it's fine, walk away. <laughs> And because you just can't leave things alone. I'm like, no, because I know that I can do better. So I did a whole bunch of new bits and pieces. And yes, the rose colored rings are in there too. We've got the, the matching digital kit, which is going to come out at the same time. Um, so now the, as you may have seen, it's a subscriber exclusive first for the first 24 hours, allowing you all to jump in and buy up as much of the stuff as you want first. And then there's going to be the, uh, the 24 hours later will open up for general release. Now, I do need to say that it is a active subscriber. And what that means, hold on, no, that's not a career. What an active subscriber means is that you need to have purchased, um, oops, sorry, you need to have purchased Sunday Roast to get into that active subscriber or that subscriber um, pre-sale. Now, the reason why we've done that is because we do have people who subscribe and they skip six, seven, eight kits and they do it just so that they can keep, they can get the discount from us. And that's not fair. That's not fair to us. That's not fair to subscribers who are supporting us and who make this possible. So, and unfortunately, there's no way in our system that we can say, well, if you know, only can't only skip one kit or anything like that. So, um, unfortunately we, this is the only way that we can do it. Um, so if you, if you are a Sunday Rose subscriber, you will get first access. If you're not a, a subscriber to Sunday Rose, then you will need to wait the 24 hours for that. Now, as you saw, it's not just the melody that's being released. It's a whole bunch of extras that are coming along with it. I'm still waiting for some more bits and pieces to arrive. Hopefully they make it in time. Um, and I will share them as uh, hopefully in next week's video because that's the video with everything in it will be on the Monday. And then on the Tuesday, that's when we will launch them to subscribers, active subscribers. And then the Wednesday is when it will go on sale for general launch. So, um, so things like the notepads and things like that, they generally tend to sell out quickly because people buy a few of them. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're tossing up between your subscription or not. And, and by having, by us saying that subscribers get first access to it, that's our way of saying thank you. Thank you for making this possible because, because of people who, and, and we know, look, we're not, we're not horrible. We know that the world is going through a really tough time at the moment. We know that a lot of people can't keep their subscription up at the moment just due to um, Corona and circumstance and all that. We absolutely get it. And that's one of the reasons why we've kept the price low of our subscription um, when we've had several price increases and definitely like shipping increases and we've had to do more work here. So um, it's it's that's that's you know for for the people who have been able to to keep uh, buying that and keep going with that and keep supporting with us and sometimes supporting with us supporting us is just sharing what we do so you know we appreciate all of you um 
but yeah the subscriber pre-sale will be on the Tuesday and the um, everybody else will be on the Wednesday um, ooh, there was one more thing I meant to say on it this is why I should write things down um, I'm waiting for that courier because I've got goodies that I want to show um, do we restock the notebooks if they sell out? Uh, it wouldn't be for a little while um, if we decided we've only ever restocked one of the notebooks before. Um, so I'm not going to say yes for sure. Um, for those, I've just noticed some people are just joining now. I am going to, you can either go back in the video and watch the, the teaser vid for um, Note to Self Melody, or I'm going to upload it as a separate video after this live. So I've already got it ready. It's already good to go. Um, if you, okay, does that mean if you purchase Sunday Rose today, you're an active subscriber? Yes, it does. It does mean that. Um, so you have a countdown on your website. I, no, I, I can't get them integrated. I have tried to integrate a countdown timer so many times on our website and it's never been, uh, it's never worked that great. Um, one of the problems is we have a lot of integrations already into our website. So every time we even add one, it can knock on other um, parts of the website. So um, like at the moment, our discounting app just causes havoc and, and I need to get that fixed. Um, Cause it just, it just, there's a knock on effect. Okay. So I'm getting asked, I'm, I'm going to go through a few questions before I go into my general Q and A and also into show and tell about the melody. So because we're, you know, I just showed it, I'm going to keep it with, try and keep it within the same segment. Um, yes, there are rose colored rings. No, it won't fit um, an ECLP. Um, they are, I mean, it fits a lot. It fits a B6, a B6 wide personal, um, um, and also B6, B6 wide rings and it fits it. So I, I run it with a B6 wide, uh, which is B6 rings, depending on if you're purchasing in the States, a lot of things say B6 rings. That's, I call that a B6 wide rings. Um, and I run it with that and tabs and it, and it goes to the edge. Um, it's not, it's, it's not a five sized or, um because i get a lot of people asking that if we we did look at producing one which would be eclp happy planner a5 the problem is the weight of them is super heavy it uses so much more material um it's the costs and because we have a supplier which believes in um quality first the costs are astronomical so um it does fit a happy planner mini it fits a Happy Planner Mini with the extended discs. Oh, what do they call them now? I think they call them the large discs. So I've used it with the mini discs, the, the classic discs, and the large discs as well. Um, so Happy Planner Classic, no, it definitely won't fit a Happy Planner Classic. They are way too big. Um, as mentioned, um, if we, like, we looked at creating a second melody, which would fit it, but it, it the costs, it's not... It's cost prohibitive at this point in time. Um, so let me just check the expanded discs. Okay. Um, I'm just checking for other comments on the planner and then I'll pop into note to self. Okay. Let's jump into, oh my gosh, apparently I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> Okay, let's jump in. I'll, I'll keep the questions and comments coming. I will check that later. Um, but for now, let me pop into show and tell. Um, so, show and tell for this week. There were so many. So I did, um, I had to cap it. I had, this is probably one of the first uh, weeks that I have, um, had to put a firm cap on because there was just so many and I thought if I go through them all I'm gonna be on my live for like two hours so thank you so much to everybody for sharing all your wonderful beautiful gorgeous creations I love seeing what you're doing with our kits uh, you are absolutely blowing me away so thank you um, okay so up first we have oops let me get rid of 
that. Um, so Kelly has used the Deck the Halls Memory Keeper um, Christmas setup that was done in conjunction with uh, Lights Planner Action. I really love, so there's more than just this one picture. So pop into our Facebook group and you'll see what uh, she's created. It looks stunning. So it looks like they've used the digital kit as well as the, uh, the possibly the, um, the sticker kit as well. Um, so I absolutely love how it's turned out. There's so much color. It's so vibrant. It's just, it's, it's my Christmas love and heart is, is, is so happy when I see this spread. Uh, next up is a note to self weekly layout from Rhoda. Rhoda, it's gorgeous. As per usual, we've used the washi, the stickers. Um, it looks like the additional sticker kits in there too. Is that possibly, I don't think that's a die cut. I think that's a sticker, but it's so pretty. I love the color. I love the rainbow disc on the side. It's gorgeous. Um, and then we've had a whole bunch of Woodland Wonders shares. So the Woodland Wonders divider by Kimberly is gorgeous. And I love how uh, it's, it's, it's um, cut out at the top. So that would put, what was that? That would pop out at the top of the planner. Uh, next up we have by Plannerfield and they've done a lettering challenge for the month and I love that you've got all this like all this gorgeous lettering off to the side and then I, I feel like that's our vellum because it looks a little bit darker um, and then you've got the vellum sheet off to the side and that looks like it's in a mini rings I'm guessing um, absolutely beautiful and I love the flowers they work perfectly as a little prop off to the side too next up um, Ashley from Plum Mashable this card I've seen this card is it is absolutely gorgeous and it has this little pop-up with the the cute little animal characters as well it's um absolutely stunning and your coloring of the back I, i'm not sure if that's your coloring of the background or you've um used the papers so and this is one of the reasons why i have the plain papers the plain quote cards is because they really pop out especially when you use them as backdrops against all the gorgeous artwork um and next up is from Louise, and they've done a Woodland Wonders Weekly One Doubtless, uh, sorry, Weekly Wonder, oh my goodness, Woodland Wonders Weekly Layout. Um, and they've used so many of these cute little um, animals. I love how much everybody really adored the animals and how much you really got into it all as well. Now the next one is from Karma, and they've uh, used the scene at the bottom. I really like this. So this was a Woodland Wonders dashboard. And it's quite funny because a fair few people in my lives usually tell me that they don't really use the scenes. And to be honest, I almost didn't do a scene in this. So to see how much everybody loved this scene, it almost didn't make the cut. Um, because of all the feedback that I've been uh, given about not using the scenes. So um, I'm not sure. I mean, I may sort of not do them for every kit, but I'm so glad to see that they are still being used. Um, Nina has done a weekly kit as well. Um, sorry, a weekly layout. And I love all the, um, the flat lays that have been used, the post-it notes, and of course, all the animals and the die cuts. And I love, love, love the little bunny at the bottom with the fencing. And you've got our little raccoon, uh, girl at the bottom and the stay foxy quote. Uh, next up is also from Kelly and I, I okay, look, it's not fair. It's not fair that you've put puppy dogs in this because that's just an instant gimme. <laughs> I love doggies. Um, and I love that you've used a love bug kit. It's adorable. I love how you've cut the paper up, used the washi and used the uh, love bug quote card. Um, next up is by Karen. Karen uh, did a weekly layout using love bug. And I really enjoyed the um, the little bugs at the top with the stickers and the little dots to sort of keep it in line with the um, the rest of the papers and everything like that. And I feel like there's also some Alpines uh, stick mini stickers in there. Um, and again, love how love 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 the the flat lays and all the minis. I love minis. Minis are so my thing. Um, so I love, love it when they get used. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
This next one is by Tracy and you will have to go into our group and check this one out because it's actually a, a Z, a Z, a Z, a Z, Z, Z fold card. Uh, it is stunning and the inside is gorgeous. Um, and also congrats to Tim and Christy. <laughs> um, next up we have a Sal and C weekly layout um, from Martha. And Martha has used our uh, our inserts as well. So I loved, I, I love the girl in this kit. I, I love her, you know, naval inspired dress and the washi was so much fun to create. So I love it when these pop up in my feed as well. Next one is by Nancy McKenzie and Nancy has used our Pretty Posy kit. I love the colors in this kit. It's so bright, it's so vibrant. I love how you've just used little touches. I love the tearaway washi at the bottom and the uh, detailed washi at the top. Really gorgeous uh, layout. Next is from Jill and Jill has done a vineyard layout. Again, this was uh, another uh, food inspired kit. Actually, Michael, Michael suggested both food kits. So <laughs> he's the one who really gets into the food kits apparently. Um, I really love the the sort of you've got the the to-do list at the top and then you've got sort of general stuff down the bottom but you've got this strip of of like feature art, um feature art and feature quotes and things like that i really love how that's laid out it sort of balances the page out nicely well done jill um next up so shannon used my lux inserts and i don't see this often I love that uh, they shared their their monthly goals because um, I was always wondering, do people actually use these? Because I use them to keep myself on, on track um, and and just to keep myself focused um, because, you know, it's very easy, especially this year, to get side sidetracked by the year that is 2020. So especially right now, I love that you've used the uh, monthly setup and the goals and and. They've got more photos under their post in our group. Next up is by Jennifer, and I believe a happy birthday. Um, I loved using the huge pops of color with this. I love that it was, it's just so full of life and celebration. And if, if, if it is your birthday, I'm guessing 52 happy birthday. I love that you've, you know, you've just gone all out. It's all about color. It's all about fun. And yeah, happy birthday. It's it's brilliant. I hope you had a great week. And and you know, birthday <coughs> month. Birthday month. <laughs> um, next up was a spread by I think it was Veronica, is that um it, I, and that's why I reacted earlier because I was like, oh my gosh, V Ray Luna. Um They've used the Sunflower and Sunshine PA um, box as well as um, some bits left over from our actual kit um, to create a monthly layout. I think it's uh, done really well. It's And I love that truck die cut as well. Next up, and I think this was an old one, but it popped up in my feed and I really enjoyed it. So I had to include it. It was my planning my day and they did a books and botanicals monthly layout but I love how they fussy cut around one of the scenes and put that um, into the kit. Um, and it's just so, you know, it's blue and cozy and warm. And I just like, I mean, blue isn't a warm color, but it, it just, this, this spread makes me feel very much like home. Um, so I love that too. And the last one is by Blue Bond Treads. And I really like this. So um, at first I was like, oh, what have they done? But what they did is they used the vellum um, as like a title page and they've cut it down and they've used it as a title page uh, for each section, each month of their planner. And one of the reasons why I love that, I love adding texture to my planner because um, I feel like, I mean, we, we generally use planners still on all these products because we love the feel, right? We love flicking through our planners. And, um, you know, the vellum and the acetate have that that different feel that, that it's it's like the paper the paper has a, a really nice feel as well um so thank you to everyone who shared this week it's stunning um i actually got to plan a little bit this week in the note to self planner so i'm going to be sharing some of that um later on as well um just some some pictures and stuff so once once i can share that i will um but yeah that's the that's show and tell now I'm going to go back through all the comments. So if you have any questions, I'm, I'm probably just going to skim through today because I, I was 
um, answering a few thing of a uh, few comments as I was going through. Um, but if I miss out, please add into the comments now. Um, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, the Labor Day weekend. <coughs> Hope you had a good uh, Labor Day weekend. Aloha from Brooklyn. It's, uh, yeah, Melbourne. <coughs> Big hugs to everybody in Melbourne. Um, but also, also, I saw that you've had your lowest cases. So for those who are overseas and don't know Melbourne, Melbourne's lockdown got extended yesterday. Um, but they got a roadmap for how they're going to come out of it. Um, big hugs to my Melbourne friends. You, you're all doing so, so well. So, so well. Stay the course. And I, I have a feeling that what Dan was trying to do was he was trying to, you know, keep the lockdown going now so that we can actually have a Christmas. So that, you know, we can, you, you can all be around your family at Christmas and hopefully that's the case. Um, we are preparing for a snowstorm in Denver. Wow. So do you get like heaps and heaps of like, like, is it like in the movies where it's like, you know, meters? Oh, sure. Feet? like lots of I, I use me to like you know meter two meters high of snow wow stay safe um texas i have a lot of friends in texas um okay marianne thank you for joining i know it is a really early early time for you so hopefully you get some sleep hopefully you can sleep in um just got my first box love it hey holly welcome um shipping for woodland wonders is amazing it only took a week and a half wow kim where are you in the world that's incredible um I get an email from DHL when you ship a package, so just watch. So I just watch for that, yeah. And we tell everybody to, you know, keep an eye out around shipping times for when that uh, will come out. Um, sorry for when the email will come out. Um, yeah, it's UPS this month. This month it travelled fast, except UPS, uh, USPS. Sorry, messed it all up. Yeah, hopefully that gets sorted out soon. Um, Tracy, good luck with the homeschooling. I know I sort of touched on it before, but oh, that's the one thing I'm not looking forward to. Lachlan, Lachlan just doesn't understand schooling from home and even Indy. I mean, I, I said to, and I, I've said this to a lot of dear friends in the States who are just beginning or very early on in their homeschooling journey. Um, when we as adults have to learn to work from home it takes a good while until you have the discipline to be able to have productive days and to actually take things in and and learn and and work and and be properly productive um you know amongst technical issues and and you know wandering minds and the fact that the pantry is you know three three meters to the right rona feels <laughs> um you know, we, as adults, it takes us so much. And we're expecting kids as young as five and six to be able to transition into online schooling. Now, I'm not saying that online schooling isn't the right way to go. It's definitely the right way to go. But be gentle on little minds. Be gentle on little feelings. Be gentle on your own feelings because it's, it's so hard I've I was having meltdowns with the kids and 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 it, it's a lot to deal with. So you know if 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 there's days or weeks where you just cannot cope, go easy on yourself. Go easy on the little ones. Um, and I know that people go easy on the little ones, but then they get stressed like I did. But just know that everybody's going through the same thing. Um, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about that now it was it was that was that was hard it was so hard here because I mean Lockie's school was amazing but Lachlan just didn't understand it um and you know we would come out of zoom calls bruised and battered because he just didn't want to sit there and 
you know, it's 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 hard. It's hard to keep him engaged in something where they were interacting with him. His teachers are amazing, but he's at home. He just wants to sit on the couch and watch TV and, and use his iPad and draw and, and, you know, be in his own little thing. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um... So if my Christmas sticker order says unfulfilled, it really has already shipped. Is that correct? Yes. Well, um, I believe so. Um, I know that I packed a whole bunch of them like a week and a half, two weeks ago with Michael. So I know a lot of them have shipped. Um, I don't know what he's up to with the shipping list, but I don't think that he has been able to fulfill those because there's no tracking details or no information from DHL um, back on that yet. So he's... Um, I sort of touched on this last week. It's it's he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. We can either not have it as fulfilled, and then deal with messages as they come through, or have it fulfilled and still deal with messages, but then people getting upset that there's no tracking details. It it's sort of there's there's no win here. So he's trying to contact DHL to find out how he can get that tracking information faster, so that like. Because once he's fulfilled it, he can't re-fulfill it and add in the tracking details. And there's a lot of orders that go out and, at once. Like, we couldn't literally sit there and put in each order number, each, each tracking number for each order after it's been fulfilled. It would just take days to do. Um, so he's trying to get answers off DHL on what the best way to work around this is and what other people have done. Um, but they're, they're, they're obviously trying to i mean they're obviously doing their best at the moment they're obviously trying to get through it themselves so um we they they don't have any feedback for us just yet i think they're just trying to rectify the situation um uh, <clears throat> thanksgiving in canada is october 12 this year so i'm hoping sunday roast will come quickly fingers crossed i really hope so that would be an amazing kit to use for thanksgiving um it took about two weeks to Norway. Wow, that's 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 pretty good. I mean, that's literally other side of the world, right? Um, the days are long, but the year is going fast. A half the time soup. <laughs> Anna Mitchell. Oh, look, squirrel. <laughs> yes, this is what I do, right? I squirrel all over the place. Uh, I love Sunday roast. Yay! The girl in Wonder Wonders is my fave. Love having the full card and her colours are beautiful. Yeah, she's gorgeous. See, she was very much, um, like her outfit was very much inspired by the fox, which is why the Get Foxy, like that, that quote sort of matched her. But she's full of just gorgeous. She was stunning. Um, and she's definitely one of my favourites too. She's just absolutely beautiful and complete, you know, gorgeous hair as well um uh, crafting yes oh yeah okay so this is obviously where i show the next kit for those people who have just joined let me just show it again so the next kit is so crafty and it's all about as you can see uh sunflowers dahlias crafting um sewing knitting cross stitch uh all that patchwork um card making planning um it's a lot of fun it's a really really fun kit um and i love that people are really getting into that too um okay i'm just getting up to the um the melody announcement <laughs> holy batman for the stunning video Stunning Melody and the awesome video. Thank you. I'm glad you all enjoyed that video. I said to Michael, I really wanted to do something different for the announcement. I wanted to, because I get excited and I really wanted to share that excitement. So I'm glad that you all loved, um, loved that video too. And there's going to be, so that's a, like a teaser video. Next week there's going to be a, like a flip through I'm going to, I've got a full video planned for that. So this was like, you, you know, your cinematic trailer. Because <laughs> I've always wanted to do one. Um, so next, tune in next week and I'll have that, f the full details and showing off all the bits and pieces if they arrive um, for the launch. Um, 
And yes, rose cut. Oh my gosh, the rings. The rings are gorgeous. Dawn, I hope you love it as your first melody. Um, the melody, I'm not sure if you've got our first planner. So the, the, the Traveler's Notebook planners. But the melodies are just, oh, they're just something else. They're just, they're so pretty. They're so versatile. They're much more, um, I mean, I like to change in and out. That being said, I've been using rings since they came out. I, I started off with the discs and then I chucked in rings because I really love the rings. Um, they, 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 just, there's a lot more functionality in the melody. Um, so does that mean if you purchase Sunday Rose today, you're an active subscriber? Yes. Um, which I think I answered that, um, before. Let me just, let me just pop through this. Um, yeah, it, it fits a happy planner mini, not classic. I'm so happy we'll fit the happy planner with extended discs yeah and those extended discs they're huge um and i think in the video i did a top down and i'm pretty sure that's me showing it with an extended disc um so there is plenty of space to get creative and and you know really really chunk out um the rings and my friend who is goes under the handle planner fairy she's got her planner as well as i think it's another booklet inside her melody and she's like really chunked it up um, so it, it, like, the idea is it's your, you know, it's pretty much your all-in-one planner. Um, oh, so much love for the scenes. Um, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 it's very interesting because whenever I have, okay, so I always get feedback on certain things and then it's funny because I, I sort of, I'm on the corner of, oh, do I change? Do I change it so that, you know, uh, you know, I've got a few people asking for this. Do I change it? And then literally just as I go to change it, somebody uses it. And then everybody's like, yes, we're on board with this. We love this. So, um, like one of the things that I changed was the note card, uh, sorry, the quote cards and they were done plain. Now, a lot of people are like, why are they plain? And things like the headers, the headers are plain too. One of the reasons why I've kept those plain is because that's allowed me to do things like, the Lux inserts, the beautiful you inserts, the um, all the extra downloads that we've been doing. So there's always some give and take. So there's only so many hours that I have in the day. So by having some bits and pieces in the kit plane, you then are able to um, have more like digitals or more designs or, you know, more digital kits coming out and, you know, all these other things that people are asking for. Um, I personally, I love using the plain and in the flip through which i'm going to show next week i i use the plain quote cards on the on the tabs on the dividers because it's a really great way to make the, the quote stand out and i sort of get a bit creative and you know have a little bit of fun with that too so um i just find it it sort of makes it um stand out a lot more instead of getting lost and the other thing is too when i find that if i use too much too much pattern too much design to my, it, 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 it leads to like it's an overwhelm and I don't want to be overwhelming people in their planners and that's the same idea behind you know at one point we did used to have patterns on either side of the the papers and we changed that too so because the feedback we were getting was oh if I cut through on one side I'm cutting through the paper on the other side and then it doesn't look right when I flip through my planner so that's the other reason why we have the plane on the back and also you can decorate that as well so um you know, hopefully the plain, the plain colors balances out all the extra bits and pieces um, that you can, that you can do, um, that, you, that you have to create and get crafty with and plan with. And, and the other thing is too, having those plain pieces also means that I've got a little bit more time to do things like digital kits, which, you know, you can use more of as well. Um, so for every every change in the kit, there's always a back end reaction, but something that I'm working on that may not seem directly apparent, um, but hopefully, hopefully you enjoy them. Okay, Ooh, hold on, it just skipped. I hate when it does that. Okay.
Um, okay, the minis probably won't be as a theme, but I have been thinking about having its own little extra thing. Um, but I don't know. It's 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 a time as as I just mentioned. Like everything is a time thing. Like, do I have the time? Because at the moment. I'm already going to sleep at like one o'clock in the morning and every time I want to add stuff, Michael's like, you don't have time for that. You need to calm down. You need to sleep. We need you to keep creating, you know, more stuff in the future. So you need to sleep. Um, <clears throat> I am happy Michael loves, likes the food kits. I enjoy memory keeping with them. Oh, good. Yeah, he's he's always thinking with his stomach. Um, I think it's because he's constantly, work, like he works out for at least an hour, maybe two to three a day. So you know, triathlete, um, he's training for an Ironman, um, so that's, uh, he's always thinking about his belly. <laughs> um, um, can, okay, can a subscriber buy more than one melody? Yes, they can. Um, can you show us the planner on screen? You'll have to wait till next week. I'll show more next week, um, because I have a full, Flip through to show off next week. So for now, you get your trailer. You get your preview. <laughs> um, when will the Woodlands kit be sold? I regret skipping it. I thought I had too many autumn themed papers, but now I regret it. Jen. Hey, Jen. Um, yeah, I hear that from a lot of people. Uh, we... Michael is currently working on the pus kit. Um, I did ask him before he ran off this morning. But he didn't have a date for me. So he has been working on it, though. It's it's really hard because if we do the pass kit sale, there's going to be, I mean, we're especially with how we were planning to do it not so long ago. And then DHL changed the way the tracking notices went out, which has caused a lot more um, work for him to do. Um, so it's we, we had to push that back a little bit. Um, and, you know, because if we ship out all the extra pass kits now, we're gonna have even more work. So it's about, you know, making sure that we're not completely overloading ourselves here and that we have time also for our little family, which lately we've we've hardly had any, because as you can see, we've been quite busy in the background as well. Um, um, I'm lucky that because my eldest has a disability, he's allowed to go to school. Well, a couple of days at least. I know Queensland didn't allow that. Yeah, we, I mean, they had a, a vulnerable children um, clause in, be, you know, vulnerable kids were allowed to go to school. That didn't include kids with a disability up here, um, which made it very difficult. But I'm glad that kids who are in a hard environment who, who are truly vulnerable, and I'm not saying that, that people with disabilities aren't, um, but I'm glad that there were still those options there. Um, because, you know... If you think about it, schooling isn't just the schooling part of it. There's, it's also keeping on track of, you know, that, that our kids are being looked after who grow up in uh, not so great, um, who don't have so great home lives. So school is that, it's it's that baseline check of are the kids doing okay? Um, and I know this because I've lived through it. So, um, you know, to see... No, nobody ever anywhere wants to shut down schools and have it online only. N no, there is not a politician in this world who wants that to, well, hopefully there's not, who wants that to become a new normal um, because it's literally a safety net for our kids. And, you know, for, uh, <laughs> for some kids, school is an, an escape from home. Um, so... Uh, Okay, I need to change the topic. I'm not going to go into this. Um, but, yeah, it's it's hard. It's it's The homeschooling thing is just hard. Okay. Um, um, have the Deck the Halls stickers shipped yet? Yes, they have. Uh, I love the new kit. No, I... Uh, not even with alarm it's only just told me not sure what's going on tab i'm guessing you've just arrived but don't worry you can always scroll back that's why i keep things on um on youtube now and not on instagram because you can always go back and don't worry i'm also going to release the vi the, the clip the video clip on its own <clears throat> 
My Woodla Wonders arrived in Delaware today and will be delivered on Tuesday. So only, so only three weeks this time. Okay, great. I mean, three weeks still not fantastic, but it's getting back to back to what it used to be at. It means that people, you know, aren't waiting. I hate seeing how long people have to wait for a kit. I mean, I know my kits that I, because I subscribe to a few kits overseas, um, and it it just it's hard having to. I mean, as an Aussie, you get used to it. Um, I get used to seeing that you know people in the states get that get their kits from other people within like three four days, and I have to wait for the month. And you know I I get it. I I really do. Um, so I'm I'm so glad that the the shipping time is condensing. <clears throat> um. When I don't see a tracking number now, I just put AUBXJ and then the order number right after without spaces. Yeah. Um, I put this into the DKJ Global tracking to see if anything comes up or not. I might put that advice. That's, that's very true because that's that's how the order numbers are generated. Uh, the, 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 the tracking numbers are generated. I might put that into our... Um, let me just take a screenshot of that, Tony, because that's, that's really, really good um, advice. I might put that into our FAQ um, just to help other people out because we try and put as much in there as we possibly can. Um, cinematic trailer, I love it. I'm going to have to re-watch it after the live for sure. Yay! Um, yeah, thank you, Tammy, for sharing that. Um, can you replay the Melody video at the end if possible? I can. No problem at all. Um, I love that you're all getting excited about it. Um, um, oh. I'm hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll play it again at the end. What type of paper do you print your digital kits on? Um, I, I, I mean, I got asked about this last week. Um, in what, ter in terms of what sticker paper, I'm, I'm looking for because the sticker paper that we use here that we that we ship out is not a consumer grade. It's a um, commercial grade, and I, it doesn't actually print very well through my printers. Um, so. That, I mean, that wouldn't even help you even if you knew what it was. Um, but I am currently trying to find a sticker paper that I love. Because um, I currently just use like, like Avery labels um, from Officeworks. So I'm speaking Australian right now. <laughs> That's our local office supplies like um, Office Max and things like that. That's our equivalent or staples. Um, pardon me. Um but I, I kind of, I don't know, I don't really like them. I want to find something better. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't really help out right there. Um, the digital papers that I use, always on um, 120 GSM, which is 32 pound, 32 pound, whatever, like in the, in the States, I think you use that, that terminology. Um, so I use the 120 GSM and it gives me a really nice thickness without being too thick, but also I can get creative. I can stick as much on there without it, you know, um, really weighing too much onto the paper because I like to, and I, I also like to color in on my pages and things like that as well. So that gives me enough to, um, to get through, uh, to, to, to sort of play and get creative on paper. Um, Okay. Questions have slowed down. Are there any more questions before I sign off and I will play the video again, but it is going to be on a separate um, a video as well. So um, last calls <laughs> for any messages, um, but please remember I am going to show a full uh, detailed video as part of next week's live um, on the melody and the releases as well. Um, I think, am I still getting messages? I think the messages have either stopped coming up for me or they've slowed down. Um, so yeah, okay, I think, I think I answered everything. See awkward silence while I'm waiting for the, uh, the, 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 uh, delay to catch up and see if there's any other messages. I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay. So firstly, um, I want to thank you all for um, hanging out with me today. Oh, do you have time 
Do you have the time for release? Yeah, so it, there was a time on that on the last slide. I'm pretty sure I put the slide in, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like 11 a.m. So the half an hour before these lives usually start. And I also put um, EDT and PDT, I think they're called, um, which is the two sides of the states because a lot of people use know what their conversion is using the states. On all my releases, I always put a link to time and date. And if you click on those links, it will show you already with the date and time of the release in there. You just need to add in your own um, <clears throat> your own time zone as well. Oh, Wild University. Thank you, Tracy, for reminding me. Ah, <sighs> thank you. I always forgot. Okay, so Wild University. I am I am super excited about this because um I so I used to be a photographer and we used to have a um there's there's a lot of things like wild university but in photography land <laughs> photography land um and when I first heard about the concept for wild university I was so excited I was so excited not only because it's it's of the videos of the concept, but also because it's something that I haven't seen done in the planner community. Um, and I like, you need a pretty big uh, audience to be able to do this sort of thing right. Um, and I was so excited that Wild had, you know, that they wanted to, to make this happen. One of the reasons is because every time I've tried to sign up for a Wild 30, the ones I've wanted to sign up for have been um, sold out before, like, before I wake up in the morning. So I was really excited about the fact that they were going to do this, this, this online portal where you can go in and learn. Um, there's been a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of comparisons to things like Skillshare. And I have a Skillshare membership, so I love Skillshare. Actually, Skillshare share taught me a lot about the video editing that you saw earlier. But um, if you're comparing it to Skillshare, you're really only getting half the story. Because the other half is there's a new chat, uh, sorry, a new Facebook group where you get involved in. And inside there, it's interactive. It's not only interactive between the people, the, so the, let's say students, but it's also the, the professors. I, Look, I'm, I'm going to, you know, you roll with the whole theming, right? I love the theming. Oh, it's so good. Um, but the professors get in there and there's lives and there's fun and there's, you know, there's just so much more to it than meets the eye. Um, the best part about it. So I, I, I know a few of the teachers and a few of the people who have done uh, videos in them. Um, and I myself am still working on my video. I've been a bit slack. As you all know, I always run. I'm, I'd like to think of myself as fashionably late. Um, but one of the things I love about it most is that they're supporting us as content creators, as small businesses. And I'm not going to go into what what's happened in the past because I do believe that everybody deserves another chance. Um, and I know that there has been history, um, but for someone, for someone wild or anybody to say, hey, we believe that you're a, you know, a part of the community, we're setting this up, do you want to record a video? We will make sure that you are compensated for your time. It doesn't happen often. So while people are saying, I can find all this stuff free out there wilds actually supporting um they're supporting us they're supporting all of the teachers all of the profess the professors who do the majors and minors um so if i mean i don't know if that helps um but it definitely made me feel valued for my time instead of just giving up time for something that i really just have to i mean I have to squeeze it into my schedule, but I hope that makes sense. Um, it's it's fun. There's so much content in there for day one, and it's only going to get better. Like, this is day one. 
this is we're literally on day one and there's already so much in there they've got a major going they've got a minor going i was watching cindy last night from llama letters um she's absolutely amazing to watch i found her at wild uh last year and that's the thing i i don't see it as wild 30 i see it as go wild at home um that's how i feel it should have been promoted because that's really essentially what it is it's wild university it's not wild 30 it's wild university wild at home it's a lot of fun um it's a great way to interact with uh the planner community not saying that all the other groups aren't because there are so many amazing groups out there um but i i really hope it flies i really hope it flies because by having wild and our groups not just wild groups other groups and and planner businesses succeed by more of us succeeding by more of us succeeding it's making our industry bigger and by making our industry bigger that means there's more jobs in our industry there's more products for us to have there's more there's more that we get as end customers and there's more support that we get as shops so i see wild and other people other shops um sorry other groups like wild who you know really elevate their shops um as as essential as you know it's it's amazing um and i'm so um honored to be part of it to have even asked to be part of it so um so that's i mean that's my input from it um my input from it is, you know, we're being supported. It's 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 wonderful, and I can't wait to see what it grows into because I feel like this is only the beginning. Because um, I've seen how things like this in other industries really take off. Um, so I'm excited, <laughs> is what I'm saying. And I'm also, I mean, from a from somebody who's about to upload uh, videos into the the general library, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous and I I was chatting to Bess who's already done hers and it's it's re really well done. I when I'm sitting here chatting with you all, it's easy. As soon as I sit down and I've got a direct message that I have to do without an um or an r or a, uh, I screw that up. Um <laughs> so um um Heather, so Heather's just written I don't understand the major minor thing. It says all the it, it, the info says all the classes will be in the history to see, but then says you have to enroll by the 10th to be eligible for the major minor unit. I'm not sure how the uh, enrolling by the 10th sort of thing works, but maybe it's got to do with the interactive part. So I know that the videos, once they've been shown and like they've gone beyond that, they go into the general library, which is great because you've you've still got that all that information in there. Um, but... <clears throat> Where's this choreo? Um... But I think maybe that's got to do with more of the interactive part of it. So because obviously if you enroll past that date, you're not going to get that interactive, that fun, that that side of it. That's what I'm guessing. Um, that's literally why I signed up. Working in theatre, I am very familiar with being asked to do work for free or for experience exposure. As soon as I knew they were paying the creators, I was sold. Erin, totally. That is, I mean, and as... I mean, for, I was a photographer before, so it, you're constantly asked to work for exposure, to work for, for nothing. And there's a, there's a well-known saying in the, the photography and many arts industries is that exposure doesn't put food on the table. Um, so it's absolutely wonderful that they've done this. And as I've said, I'm, I'm, I'm not going into what's happened in the past because I believe that, you know, we all, all deserve a second chance. And... You know, as long as you're trying to do better than yesterday, then you're good by me. Um, I joined because it looked like a great idea and a concept to help me in my goals. Yeah, that's another thing. And the other, the other reason why I was so excited about this, and I mean, you all who are in here know this, I've really sh struggled with planning this year. Um, and I think I shared one of my first plan, like planner spreads, l like last month because I felt really just down it's 2020 this year has really taken its toll on us and i haven't been out like i missed out on going to go wild which was going to be amazing i was going to meet up with lamika and marg who are the other michaels girls and we were going to get a photo together and you know i was going to catch up with my friends 
and and you know Bess and Jamie and Jen and I was gonna you know chat with the wild team and I had so many plans and I was gonna go to Universal I was gonna go to Disney for the first time I was like there was so much that I was excited about and that I I didn't get to do and I feel like Wild U is my trip to wild this year it's my chance to engage it's my chance to talk to people and you know step outside and even from it like it runs really fast for me because I'm I'm so busy with work I'm so busy like every spare second I get I'm trying to like stuff that people are posting in my group or you know or, or on Instagram and stuff like that it's it's there is so much time that I just don't have but um <laughs> sorry I'm laughing at what Jennifer just said my expressive eyebrows <laughs> um you know it's 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 <clears throat> it's it's just wonderful to 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 have that there especially this year and you know in australia i don't know if this this got came out overseas but australia was all about how are you going to pivot your business in 2020 how are you going to still deliver you know to your customers and wild is a small business just like the rest of us um you know they they work full-time jobs plus wild you know they're trying to to make this community um and trying to help this community so um you know i i i couldn't do what they do it's yeah so i'm impressed by it um uh what else um understand if you can't say but will there be more melodies released this year yes there will be at least one more melody released this year um any spoilers about what course what your course will be about? okay so i'm not doing major or minor they're the the big courses i'm i might have suggested one for next year because i need time to sort of go <laughs> um but i'm i'm putting together ideas on how to get the most out of like your um, sub box and, and things like that. So it's, it's getting a little bit creative and, and things like that. Um, that's probably more than I should have said. Um, pretend like you're talking with us. See, I find that really hard because it's, it's like, I try to do that. And then I get these weird awkward moments where I pause because I'm, you know, I'm interacting, I'm chatting, it's conversation, it's fun. Um, but when I'm just delivering a message, it's hard not to get off message. Um, and also, I f when I talk with you guys, I don't have to check my video after. I hate watching myself. And when I do one of these other videos, I'm like, I have to watch myself. And I listen to my voice and it does all these crazy things. And, and apparently Jennifer's saying that my eyebrows do crazy things too. <laughs> it's, it's just very very nerve-wracking um but it's something I'm, I'm trying to learn so that i can do more videos not just for a while but also for you as well um oh, i just got home i hope you bought food is that food um because <laughs> my tummy wants food um yeah so that's that's my take on wild you um i'm excited i'm 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 excited to see what it grows into. I mean, it, it's it's a baby at the moment, and it's already pretty amazing. Um, yeah, I I mean I I always get nervous um, speaking, I guess about wild because I know that people it's something that is very polarizing and has very strong opinions out there. But um, I feel like they're really trying, and. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I need to remind him I'm on a live. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have drawn attention to it. Um, and as you know, we are live. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I'm excited. I'm in there. I'm learning at the same time. Um, they've got some really cool stuff coming up. Um, and yes, I, I, I mean, I should have prefaced by saying I, I, I am an affiliate for Wild, but... I won't promote anything that I don't believe in um, and that I don't think is that I'm that, and that I'm not excited about 
Um, so I did share my link, but at the end of the day, if you don't use it, that doesn't bother me. Um, it's an individual choice. It's, um, yeah, I, 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 I don't promote things because I like, because I'm affiliate, I promote it because I really truly believe in what it's doing. Anyway, that's enough about that. <laughs> me to promote my stuff. Okay. I promised that I would show off. Hold on. Let me just check if there's any last messages. Nope, that's it. Okay. I promised I would show off the um, the video again. So I'm going to lead out with that. Um, and I'll also have it as a separate video. But thank you so much for joining. Thank you for getting so excited about this launch. Remember, next week I'm going to have a, a much bigger video on the whole thing. And um, including like installing your, um, the, 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 the rings through the back. Um, and the whole setup and all the bits and pieces that are available. So stay tuned for that. I hope you all love it. And I hope you love our next theme. And I will see you all next week. See ya.